In this video, we learn about triple rule out CT angiography. All about the procedure. I'm going to teach about it in this video, and this is the article. The video is based on. We learn what is the protocol for chest pain, what are the indications for triple rule out and patient selection, what are the contraindications for the procedure, what are the minimum requirements of the CT hardware and radiation issues associated with the scan, how to prepare the patient, the CT protocol. and image interpretation this is useful in chest pain which comes in emergency settings also called as acute chest pain the causes for acute chest pain can be acute coronary syndrome pulmonary embolism aortic dissection acute coronary syndrome is only 25% and rest of the causes are 75% of the times other causes are pneumonia pneumothorax rib fracture pleural or pericardial effusion thoracic spine diseases etc and in the first three condition mentioned we can use triple rule out ct angiography as a triage method so we'll see these three conditions as individual diseases acute coronary syndrome pulmonary embolism and aortic dissection when these are independently suspected like when acs is suspected we can go for ct coronary angiography when pulmonary embolism suspected we can go for pulmonary angio and when aortic dissection is suspected we can go for ct aortogram in, in case there is suspicion of all the three in order to rule out what is the cause we can directly go for triple rule out ct angio which is one stop investigation so when chest pain patient comes in emergency first we go for serial ecgs then serial troponin levels and stress test can be or cannot be done ct is a safe and effective triage method in emergency settings and different protocols are used for different diagnosis in emergency setting so for triple rule out ct angio the patients who are less beneficial are the ones which have known coronary disease or a past history and who have undergone stent or bypass it's of no use in such patients the criteria for triple rule out ct is usually the patients who present with symptom of complex acute coronary syndrome symptoms like chest pain shortness of breath syncope and pain in neck and left arm as such and the patient should be negative for biomarkers that is troponins should be negative and there should be no ecg changes in this patient if positive biomarkers are there directly we can go for ct coronary angio instead of triple rule out so the most benefited patients are the ones which are having low risk of acute coronary syndrome like young adults with negative biomarkers and no ecg changes they can directly be put for a triple rule out ct angio other criteria are like they should have an acceptable cardiac rhythm for a triple rule out ct they should have adequate renal function since this is contra study they should be able to breath hold and tolerate ct contraindication for triple rule out ct is arrhythmia but arrhythmia is not an absolute contraindication it depends on the frequency of the heart beats or the ectopic beats which are coming renal insufficiency is contraindication contrast allergy again and beta blockers if patient is on beta blocker it's a contraindication so the ct machine should be of minimum 64 slice ct scanner which can scan 20 cm in 15 seconds 120 kvp and 60 mas is the settings for radiation and radiation dose to the patient with tube current modulation would be around 8.75 millisieverts without tube current modulation it would go around 18 millisieverts we can do step and shoot method which would reduce the patient dose again with ecg gating it will reduce up to 5 to 6 millisieverts we can do prospective ecg gating this will reduce patient dose but it cannot detect wall motion abnormalities since we go back and see the scan once the patient is selected how to prepare the patient we have to ask him to withhold caffeine and other cardiac stimulants before the study 18 gauge iv cannula to be put for the patient ecg leads have to be placed and then beta blockers are put for the patient 2.5 to 30 mg depending on the patient in order to achieve sinus bradycardia sublingual nitroglycerin is given just before the study 
and the protocol of ct would be something like this this is aorta from which coronaries come out and this is pulmonary artery so coronaries we have to achieve hu of 300 and in pulmonaries minimum of 200 or above should be achieved so first we'll preheat the contrast up to room temperature then a biphasic injection is to be done the concentration of contrast will be 350 mg iodine per ml in first phase we inject 70 ml contrast second phase we inject a mixture of 25 ml contrast plus 25 ml saline the region of interest will be kept in left heart the speed of injection would be 5 ml per second so the first phase will opacify the left heart second phase will opacify the right heart total of 95 ml is given in the biphasic injection this protocol varies from hospital to hospital and according to the article also multiple variations of by phasic injection is done alternate methods which we can use is first phase we can give 50 ml of undiluted contrast in second phase we have to give a 50 ml of contrast in which 60% contrast is there and 40% saline is there in the third phase we can give 30 ml saline push so total of 130 ml while acquiring we have to acquire from 1 to 2 cm above aortic arch till the lower chest make sure we cover the base of the heart region of interest is kept in left atrium and acquisition starts 5 seconds after the attenuation reaches 100 hu in left atrium cranial to caudal acquisition is done for image interpretation we can use axial 3 to 5 mm slices to visualize aorta and pulmonaries and thin sections are used like 0.6 to 0.8 mm sections used for viewing coronaries in the first image we can see the stenosis and that proves it's coronary artery disease second image we can see the aortic dissection with the thrombus and then third image we can see pulmonary embolism which is reported as usual scans follow our page on instagram and youtube for more teaching videos of radiology